Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be showing how to integrate the uh, 40 gate with the 40 client EMS through the Fortinet uh, security fabric. This is going to be a quick lab demo to show how to set up this integration. So let's get started. So this is our topology uh, that I'm going to be working on now. The 40 client EMS is in the network 192.168.20.0 uh, and the uh, IP of EMS is dot 10. So 192.168.20.10. Now the 40 gate interface that is directly connected to the 192.168.20.0 network is 192.168.20.254. So let's go ahead and start with the fabric integration between 40 gate and 40 client EMS. So we'll access the 40 gate first. We're going to go to security fabric, click fabric connector, and then we're going to edit the 40 client EMS. So you see there is uh, up to seven EMS um, fields that can be configured. We're going to configure EMS one. Now the name is going to be EMS or 40 client EMS. The IP address is 192.168.20.10. Now we got to make sure that there is a connectivity between the 40 gate and the 40 client EMS. A simple connectivity test is to do uh, ping. So we can ping to that host. And the HTTPS port that is going to be used to establish this connection 443. Go ahead and click OK. Now the next step is verify EMS server certificate. So in order for the 40 client EMS and 40 gate to communicate, the following certificate provided by the 40 client EMS must be reviewed and accepted. So this is 40 client EMS certificate. Now uh, one thing about that, this is a self-signed certificate. So the best practice is to have a trusted and signed certificate uh, for this uh, connection but for us we're just going to go ahead and use this self-signed certificate and accept it so we'll go ahead and click accept now let's just take a note of the serial number this is serial number uh, 027b c3 d1 Now the next step is we have to authorize the 40 client uh, the 40 gate on the 40 client EMS in order to establish this connection. So we'll go on the Windows machine that 40 client EMS is installed on and we're going to be accessing the 40 client EMS using the IP address of that machine 192.168.20.10. So just FYI this is a Windows machine on the server machine. All right. So in order to uh, authorize this device, we could refresh and we would see a notification. Now, again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is not a trusted certificate, it's self-signed. So that's why we get this notification. Now, uh, this is the request of the 40 gate to establish connection coming from 20.254. We could do view details. And it's going to take us to this um, section where it's um, system settings, oh, sorry, administrator, fabric devices. So we'll click here and click authorize. Now we have authorized the 40 gate on the 40 client EMS. If we go back to the 40 gate and refresh this, we can see that the status is connected. All right. Now, if you want to view this configuration from the CLI, you could do config endpoint control for the client EMS. If we, do sh if we do show, this is the, we chose EMS one. So I can do edit one and I can show the configuration. All right. Uh, now, um, one thing to keep in mind, uh, there is a source address or source IP you can specify where this uh, you can specify the IP address of the 40 gate where you want this connection 
uh, establishment to be initiated from. So in our case, it's 0000, 0, 0, 0. FortiGate is going to pick the IP address that belongs to the FortiClient EMS network, which is 20.254. But in different scenarios, you might want to pick, if you're going, for example, if this connection is going through VPN tunnel, you might want to pick an interface that is allowed to go through this VPN tunnel and the uh, 40 client EMS would have a reachability too. But in our connection, uh, it's straightforward, it's direct connection. So no need to worry about the source IP address. But uh, we can demonstrate a scenario in, in, in different video where you could make a use of that source IP. All right, uh, now this uh, connection has been established. Uh, I wanted to go to system settings and EMS certificates. Now the certificate that has been presented to the uh, 40 gate by the 40 client EMS is that certificate in here. Um, I should have noted that out, but if you go back in the video and look at the certificate information um, presented to the 40 gate, you could see it's the same validity period uh, to verify that. Now, um, if you want to know the or, or the CR certificate, if you want to grab that certificate uh, that um, signed this um, certificate in here, what we could do, um, sorry, just give me a second. So the default 40 client EMS certificate that is used in this uh, SDN connection should be found under trusted root certificate for the client enterprise management certificate so this certificate is signed so this is the ca certificate <clears throat> that is uh, saved on the windows server when the 40 client ems first installed uh, and this certificate is the one that's signed as a ca certificate that signed the one that was presented to the um 40 gate all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video uh, if you have any questions or comments please uh, leave them in the comment sections please don't forget to subscribe and like the video have a good one